Before we start talking about the pros and cons, Smallrig did send me the top handover review. First of all, a big thank you to Smallrig for doing that. Second, I'm not paid to say anything about the product, and Smallrig does not get to see this video before it is published, so they are watching it the first time just like you are. Let's get straight to the point. If you are into videography and you have been filming with either a Panasonic, Fujifilm, or Sony mirrors camera, you should add this top handle to your setup because it is a game changer. Being able to press a button on top of the top handle to start and stop recording has always been a missing piece that I think every video camera should have. And now Smallrig has that missing piece. This top handle, trust me, it's amazing. The top handle from Smallrig uses a USB-C to 2.5mm remote jack that goes into the remote port of your camera. For the Panasonic GH5, the remote port is right beside all the buttons on the camera grip. All you need to do is to plug in the cable and now you have a secondary record button on the top handle. The USB-C to 2.5mm remote jack cable works with the most popular Panasonic and Fujifilm mirrorless cameras. If you're a Sony user, they do have another combo that includes a USB-C to micro USB cable that works with Sony cameras. Or you can buy just that Sony cable separately if you have a mix of Panasonic, Fujifilm, and Sony cameras. Options are always welcome. One thing I wish they have included is a cover for the USB-C port on the handle. When you use it without the cable, I'm not sure if dust or water will affect the port. A rubber cover will be great. When you are in video recording mode, pressing the red button starts and stops the recording without any issues or delay at all. When you are in photo mode, let's say on the GH5, pressing the red button will start recording a video as well, not photo. Just something to keep in mind. Maybe Smallrig can add a photo button in the future top handle? There's one tip for you when you want to jump between video recording and playback mode on your camera, at least for the GH5. Without the Smallrig top handle, I always lightly click onto the shutter button to go back to video mode to continue to film. But you can't do that with the record button on the top handle because it will immediately start recording when you press it. The easiest way to go back and forth between recording mode and playback mode while having your hand on the top handle is to press the play button with your other hand. That's the easiest way I found. The small rig record remote top handle uses a NATO mount to attach to your camera, which can be a good or bad thing depends on your setup. If you want to be able to quickly attach and detach the top handle, NATO mount is definitely a great choice. You can just slide it into the NATO rail, tighten the knob, and that's it. To detach it, loosen the knob, slide the handle out, it's just that simple. The only thing you need to make sure before you get this top handle is if you actually have a NATO rail on your camera cage or not. To be honest with you, I was very surprised when I didn't see a NATO rail on my small red GH5 cage, and that is the latest version of the cage too. I had to add a separate NATO rail onto the cage first, then I can mount the top handle onto it. Don't worry, I'll put all the parts in the description below so you know exactly what I'm using. One thing I noticed after attaching the top handle to the NATO rail is that it makes the whole setup very tall. Like, very tall. If you have any suggestions on mounting it differently, let me know in the comment section below. I wish Smallrig can come up with different kind of mounting system for the top handle, like Koshu or Quarter 20. If they have a Koshu version, you can just mount it onto your camera directly without using a cage, and that will be a super minimal setup just like the Canon C70. I also really like the big twisting knob that Smallrig uses to lock the top handle. It is very easy to quickly tighten or loosen the knob without using any tools. You can tell that Smallrig has always been trying to improve their design. Besides the quick release, having a NATO mount gives you another advantage of mounting the top handle onto different spots. It doesn't have to be just on the top. Smallrig is always like Lego to camera users. You can mount the top handle to the side to use it as a side handle with a record button. It might not look perfect, but it works. Another cool thing about this top handle is the coach shoe mounts. It has three, which is absolutely amazing. 
SmallRig did a great job utilizing the space on the handle to allow users to have the maximum flexibility when mounting accessories. For myself, I love having the ability to mount my monitor on different spots depending on my need. For low angle shots, I like mounting the monitor at the front of the handle. For high angle shots, I will mount the monitor at the back. Or if you really want to utilize the cold shoe mounts, you can have a microphone or an LED light at the front and the monitor at the back. Now that's what I call a full setup. The front cold shoe mount actually has a locking pin to prevent your accessory from detaching accidentally. And I think that is a great design. I'll most likely thank SmallRig for doing that when it saves my $1,000 monitor from dropping and breaking in the future. Besides the cold shoe mount, there is a lot of mounting points on the SmallRig top handle. I mean a lot. You have multiple quarter 20 and 3 8 mounts all over the handle. And some of the 3 8 mounts have the RE style anti-twist locking pinholes. It is definitely up to your imagination on what kind of accessory to mount onto the top handle. Since the small rig top handle uses a wired remote to control the camera, there is one very unique new design to the handle, which is the cutout for cable management. This is where the attention to detail comes in. If you have experience of having cables dangling on your camera, you will appreciate this design as much as I do. Having a cable management can also prevent the cable from being unplugged accidentally. When it comes to build quality, just like any other small rig products, the top handle is mainly made of steel and the quality and finishing is top notch. It is definitely built to last. Again, I don't think you will be able to break it that easily. I think I'll probably break my camera before breaking the top handle. It also looks very cool when it is mounted on the camera cage. The material they use on the record button is kind of a rubbery silicone type. I thought it will be squishy and mushy, but it is actually very tactile and clicky and loud. Yes, if you have an onboard microphone like a shotgun mic, make sure you leave a gap between the end of your video and the actual press of the button because your microphone will absolutely pick up the clicky sound. It is the type of button with rubber outside and a hard trigger sticking out inside, if you know what I mean. Also, I kind of wish SmallRig went with a hard plastic button because I'm not too sure how long the rubber button will last. Just try not to be too rough on it. Design-wise, the length of this top handle is pretty standard with a squarish kind of look. It feels very nice in my hands, nothing too sharp to handle. Some people might prefer a round handle, so maybe SmallRig can look into making a round handle with a record button in the future. One thing I really like about the design is kind of a personal preference. The front part of the handle curves in and that allows me to have my index finger wrapping around it. It gives me a more secure grip when handling the handle. Yes, handling the handle. There's nothing wrong with just grabbing the handle part, but having that index finger grip feels a lot more secure. You might notice that the NATO mount is more towards the back compared to a lot of traditional top handles. I think that is a great trend because having a mount further at the back can make a setup more balanced, especially if you're using a big and heavy lens at the front. Now we don't really have to flip the handle backwards anymore, unless your lens is super heavy. Let's talk about why I love using this handle for my purposes. Maybe it will fit yours too. One of the biggest struggles I have when filming with a DSLR or a mirrorless camera is having to press the record button. And I'm not joking, it is pretty annoying. I'm the type of person who always have a top handle on the camera for different purposes, like mounting a monitor, filming at low angle, or as simple as carrying the camera around. But when I'm using the top handle, I always have to either switch hands or try to reach for the record button with my other hand. I wish my cameras have a secondary record button at least on the other side of the camera body, but unless you go with a cinema camera, which costs a lot of money, like the Canon C200, you'll probably still have to press the record button with your right hand, then move your hand to the top handle. Trust me, when you have to film a lot of short clips on set, it will be very annoying. Having another record button on the other side of the camera body is a good solution, but not the best at least to me. 
A lot of times when I'm filming on set, I like filming at around my stomach height. Maybe that's because I'm always filming music videos or dance videos, but that's my favorite angle. I rarely film at shoulder or eyesight height unless I'm trying to feature someone's face. That's why having another record button on the left side will be kind of awkward to reach as well. For middle or low angle shots, having a record button on the top handle is perfect. It makes it so much easier to film because you can now keep your creative flow moving without having to fiddle with the camera. Oh, one thing I almost forgot to mention, the price. I don't know how they did it, but this top handle is only $79, and that is only $10 more than the regular NATO top handle. That price already includes the top handle and the cable. Like, how? Just, just, just get it. I think I'll keep this top handle on my camera all the time because this is the best top handle for my purposes. It would be amazing if Small Ray can come up with more controls on the top handle like ISO, aperture, or even focus motor with a control dial or something in the future. That would be awesome and I'll definitely be interested. That's it. Those are my thoughts on the Small Ray top handle with record start stop remote. If your focus is videography, I would highly recommend getting this handle because it makes filming so much easier and fun. Having more fun filming can be a great motivation to film more stuff and to be more creative. I love this top handle from Small Rig and I hope you will too. Let us know what's your favorite camera accessory in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.